May 14, 1967, started like any other day in Vietnam for helicopter pilots Tom Baca and Jack Swickard. And for years, the two didn't talk about that day. We were just flying um, a chaplain around to some special forces camps. Then they got word more than 100 U.S. soldiers surrounded on the ground, crouching and hiding, enemy fire all around them, no escape in sight. The only other thing we could have done was just leave. And, you know, we don't do that. And when they got to the scene, they found the unexpected. Bamboo, 25 feet high. So they used the main rotor blades of their helicopters to cut through the bamboo and went in for a blind landing. They were kind of talking us in because we couldn't see them. And they were kind of crouched down. They were hiding in the vegetation. And the soldiers jumped on. As people got on the aircraft, they were being picked off uh, by the enemy. And uh, uh, the others on board were throwing them off to make room for other people to come on board. But only 12 could fit. Baca and Swickard flew the group to safety. They couldn't leave the others behind, so they went back, each time with less cover than the time before. That we were going to probably not get out each time. I expected to take a shot through the head. Why am I doing this with 12 days left to go? <laughs> That's right. Baca only had days left before he was able to leave. But that didn't stop his determination to rescue more soldiers. They went back five times until 126 soldiers were flown to safety. And the pair of New Mexicans, who'd never met until they got to Vietnam, made a pact. If he went down, if he caught a blade and couldn't get out, uh, my first job was going to be to get him and his crew out of that landing zone. And I knew he was looking after me the same way. While Baca and Swickard refuse to call themselves heroes, the U.S. government does, awarding them with the Distinguished Flying Cross. If you thought Tom Baca looked familiar, it's because he is the twin brother to the former Albuquerque mayor, Jim Baca. Tomorrow night, meet another New Mexico hero who is now working to keep our military history alive. Hear how he helps honor veterans at a memorial that does something no other memorial in the country does. That is only on Action 7 News, live at 10. And our salute to New Mexico heroes culminates on September 12th at the Lobo football game against Tulsa. We'll be there along with a lot of our KOAT staff as Kirtland Air Force Base is a flyover, and we try to set a world record for texting donations for wounded warriors. You can join us. Just go to our KOAT Facebook page and enter to win free tickets to the game, and we hope to see you there. Now.